Hey guys, we are doing a unboxing on the Battlefield 4 Xbox 360 controller. It is $24 at GameStop. It's actually really good. It has all features. You see it comes with a uh, specialty in-game dog tag for your character. So yeah, let's go ahead and open it. Wait, as you can see, it has the Battlefield 4 look. Um, name right there in the middle of the controller it's wired and you can unplug the wire but and then there's that thing in the middle so let's go ahead and open her up okay so here's the controller really nice and sleek as well, it's everything as Smart Track. I don't think you can read it, but it says Smart Track fine tunes analog stick tracking range to optimum levels, improving percussion and reaction time. So, let's pull this up. Let's go ahead and set this off to the side. Sorry. Alright. So here's a controller. Let's go ahead and take it out of this. Now, this is cool. See, you can unplug it, it doesn't stay on though. So, I already have the cord. It's, it's I think it's a good 12 to not, 9 to 12 feet long. So here's the outlet that it uses. It's orange on the inside, so the things, I don't know. Oh, wait. I gotta do something first. Sorry, I had to turn off my other controller so this wouldn't go to second player. So. Here's this awesome controller. But, okay. Now, it's really sm smaller than original. See, let me, let me get this. Let me take the keyboard off. So, here's the differences. This is shorter. Buttons more compact. Buttons are flat while these are round. It doesn't have a bulky battery pack. And the trigger whoa. Yeah, the triggers are chrome. Black chrome and while these are black and plastic. These have the little bumps on them on the analog sticks. This has rings or little half or quarter rings on it. Now, let's flip it over to the back. Now, what you want to do is, this button, you click it. It comes up with that. Wait, let me turn it off. Okay, so it comes up with that. Now, you can program to what these you want. Say, okay, you want this, you want this going down to do that. And then you click it again. Scroll up. There. Click it again. Other one. So that's how you program it. Now, I like this controller a lot. Really sleek. You get used to it. Really comfortable. Yeah, the things are. The things aren't going to good place. Sorry, I just maybe thing in the background just went off because I didn't use these. But you can use them like not only in game you can use them in every game if you're using this control you can use these instead of taking your thumb off of the analog stick and um so you don't have to go down here and click it okay I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it so, so like say you're playing and then you, you wanna take out your play more in Battlefield 4 scroll down or 
Wait, no, no. Scroll to the either way that you have it set to on this. Instead of go like stopping and let somebody shoot you or something, just keep on walking. Scroll down on it. Set it down. So let me show you the dog tags. Here is the note that you get from this. It's the exclusive PDP in-game Battlefield 4 dog tag. The way you get it. I already read him the code, so it doesn't matter. The way you get it is you go to eonea.com. Go to my account. Redeem your code. Enter the code above and achieve your exclusive PDP in game Battlefield 4 dog tag. So, yeah. This has been the review with the Battlefield 4 controller. Here, very soon, I will do a review over a limited edition Turtle Beach Halo headset. Not now, but I shall do it soon. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed my first unboxing ever on my gaming channel um i will be doing more and like rate comment and subscribe and yeah thank you guys for watching